Hello everybody, my name is Ricky Nelson and welcome to the event. Um, today is a bit different and I'm doing this video literally off a whim because I'm literally not prepared for this. Uh, between my hectic week and looking forward to a holiday, I kind of lost touch. And because of this is what gave me the idea of this video because we have so much going around in our lives that at times we forget about some things that actually matter to us. So for me, this is important. For me, it is something that I hope to do for a very long time. But just the thought of how simple it was for it to slip my mind because of other things that are, some are even more important, some are less, but they took over my thought process and here we are. So as I put this together, I thought about something and I thought I'd share it with you. A lot of us right now are trying to make ends meet. And like I said in my first video, I think since I came back was that this are different times. So everyone is just trying to adapt to the situation that they're in. A lot of people are starting different things from their houses. Uh, I've seen new pages and new Instagram accounts from a lot of my friends with different products, different services, and it's an amazing thing. But here comes in the problem. There are a bunch of us. There are people who I know who have such a massive following on their social media, but anything that they post about their business, it's like guys just swipe across, as in, no one even gives it two seconds. But when they post something about gossip, something, uh, maybe one of these jokes that are out here, and everyone is on there commenting and liking and supporting, but what about those business posts? What about supporting someone you know to build something? Because I think we are our own worst enemies. And it's really not a good thing. I don't, uh, this is not how we're supposed to support each other. This is not how we're supposed to build each other. The other day, uh, an artist friend of mine, uh, Wale the King, put up a status update. And I, ca I can't remember it word for word, but it was basically along the same gist of why is it that we are so ready to support people we have no idea who they are. But as soon as your friend, your cousin, your brother tries to do something and you turn a blind eye to it, especially people in the creative realm, people like us, I do not know how people place value on our work, but to us personally, what we put out and the effort that we put into what we are trying to create to us, this is priceless. Um, you may say a bunch of negative things about someone's work, about someone's effort, and fine, criticism is good. And as any artist or as any creator, you're supposed to use criticism to build or change your work for the better. But do this with a positive spin on it. Don't try to break someone down. Don't try to take away from them. There's a saying that goes, lighting someone's candle will not turn off your light. We can do so much more if we work together. We can do so much more if we support each other. Which reminds me, um, just before this uh, corona thing came up, I had been invited for a TED talk at Aga Khan Academy. And uh, the thesis or the topic that we were supposed to discuss is what are the changes that we can affect as a people, as a community, as a country, as a continent. And I remember I put together my speech, I'll link it down below for those who would like to read it. And the topic of this video really relates to that subject. The fact that we can achieve a whole lot more if we work together than trying to build ourselves by 
without any help, trying to build ourselves without any help. As human beings, we are genetically programmed to cohabit. We are genetically programmed to create communities and societies. So why not build a community or a society around helping each other? And the other thing, and this now goes, I don't, this now goes to artists, us creators. I do not want you wasting your time trying to win over people who do not want or who do not feel like supporting what you're doing. As soon as someone decides that they're not going to give two minutes of your time to them, I think you should move on. You know, we are at times focused with building our circles with people who actually do not appreciate us, who will go out of their way to break you down, especially behind your back. And while they are standing in front of you, they are your biggest fans. And this is just some downright shitty behavior, if you ask me. Because the people that we get to choose, our friends, you get to actually choose your friends. Your family, you have no choice, man. God put those people on you and you have to deal with them. But your friends, these are people that you pick and decide that this stranger is going to matter to me from now henceforth. So when you're picking that stranger and deciding to involve him or her in your life, especially in your work, I think you need to be more careful. I think you need to pay attention. Um, in, in, in business, they call it after sales services. So after you make that friend, I think you need to invest into some after friend services. Find out what happens next. Because if you cannot get support and help, from your immediate circle, then trust me, you are in the wrong circle. My name is Ricky Nelson, and this is The Vent.